Margaret the Fell. This guy humbled me quite a bit. I thought I was going to go in here and just wreck him. I was like, you know, first bo first boss of Dark Souls 4, no problem. I can I can I can handle this. I killed the Nameless King. Uh, not so much. Definitely uh, learned quite a bit, which I'm going to share here with some of the key moves he does. And um, hopefully you can get through it like I got through it. Certainly not a, uh, a parry fest or anything like that here. It's just getting through the fight. First tip, summon the guy. It's going to give you the opportunity to probably get more damage, more staggers, even though it increases his health pool. He's going to start with this move typically. This is great. It's going to give you enough recoil to get you know full combo off on him. Definitely take advantage of that, but don't get greedy. He's going to focus on your ally a little bit. You're going to try to balance going ham on him to take maybe some of the aggro uh, and keep that guy alive as long as possible. But just watch out. This guy's fast, and he has very timing on his moves. This move is a gift when he puts his staff over his hand like that. He's going to do two kind of diagonal swipes. Very easy to roll through and get two to three hits off on him. And he's going to summon this hammer. You know, partially through the fight, do a dive bomb, that's also great, do a couple of hits, but then get out, like I didn't do. There's a stagger, definitely take advantage of those, and it's a good opportunity to heal here. Uh, sometimes he will take advantage of you trying to heal. Get away from blender moves like that, just kind of really watch him and be patient. He's got aggro on you, he switches over to your ally, you get in there, you do some damage when the focus is not on you. But, again, watch out for the AoEs. Ally is almost dead, and he's, you know, he's about to finish him off here. So go in and get as much damage off as possible. And with that, summon is dead, and you're on your own. Great way uh, to start off that with a stagger. Hopefully I've got enough pots and patience to see the rest of the way, but he's going to go nuts now. So what I'm going to try and do is bait out a dive move, something with, with real recoil. This move, he's going to throw two daggers at you. They travel faster than they look. It's great to go in there. I'm getting a little overexcited, but trying to avoid uh, getting hit too much. I've got enough heal. Oh, don't roll too far. I've got enough heal to make my make way through it if I am patient. There we go. That's what we want to see. Get two to three hits off on him. Of course, I'm greedy. But I'm thinking I've got the rolls uh, to, to <laughs> deal with this. I don't, but that could have been a lot worse. Still, still greedier than I, than I should be, for sure. But he's so close to being dead. I'm taking little chances here. I'm going to heal. That is, a, that is a huge risk. He will usually throw daggers at you when you try to, try to do that. But here we get a nice dive bomb. And with that, he is done. Um, so, yeah, I would say just get the muscle memory down, uh, get his moves set down to some degree, look at those key moves that I've pointed out, and you should be able to get past them if you haven't, uh, already. Uh, I imagine a lot of people have probably <laughs> suffered through it. I thought it was going to be a lot easier than it turned out to be, but it all worked out in the end. So I hope you found that helpful, and happy playing.